Let's see this example in action. Here is ball after mouse with tests.racket. Here we've loaded the testing framework. And here we've loaded the universe module, which defines things like mouse equal huh. I've gone to the effort of writing definitions for our wish list functions, ball after button down and ball after button up, and their help functions. Moving on to the test section, I've written a short paragraph explaining our test strategy. Next, we have the definitions of the various values to be used during testing, as we saw earlier. Next, we define a test suite called ball after mouse tests using defined test suite. There are 12 tests in this suite, one for each partition. I've ordered the tests systematically into four groups of three. I could have done this anyway, but doing it systematically makes it easier. First, we have three tests for ball unselected point inside. Next, we have three tests for ball unselected point outside. Then, we have six tests similarly arranged for ball selected. Last, we use run tests to run our test suite. Below here are some additional tests that we added during debugging. We'll talk about those later. Let's try running the program. Oops, we misspelled a function. We'll fix it and try again. Here, I did a cut and paste and didn't quite do the right thing. This should probably be ball unselected. No, it should be ball selected because I was just doing a ball after button down. So now all of our tests have passed. The zero down here is the value of the call to run tests. It tells us that we have zero test failures. But wait, I see the code in the definitions window has turned black. This means that there was untested code in our program. We didn't achieve 100% expression coverage. Let's go back and see what we missed. So here, in ball after mouse, I see that the B is orange, indicating that this is an expression that was not exercised during our tests. Let's add another test to cover that line. We need some mouse event other than button down, drag, or button up. So we go to the help desk and we discover that enter is another legal mouse event. So we add a test using enter as the mouse event. Check equal ball after mouse. ball selected point outside x point outside y enter and when we're done the ball should be unchanged so that should give us back ball selected again. Let's try it. Oh, 
Okay, we have 13 tests. They've all passed. It's zero, and my code is still blue, which means that uh, we have our 100% expression coverage.